Kalisa in the morning show. We have an awesome show lined up for you today, so stay tuned. And don't forget, we are the hottest show on the network, and this is how we do it. Don't touch that dial. This is how we do it. Welcome to the Kalisa in the morning show. I'm Jay Parker, sitting in with Kalisa Bass, your host. So glad you decided to make us part of your morning by tuning in. So on behalf of the Kalisa in the Morning Show family and the WAEC Love 860 family, we want to say to everybody, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. We have, uh, we, we've been talking uh, over the last couple of shows uh, regarding uh, doing a coat, hat, long job, glo- uh, uh, long john, glove drive for some of the homeless people in our community and we are, we're about to kick this thing off because it's getting chilly out there. So we've got live in the studio, Reverend John Haley. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> much applause. <laughs> Atlanta. <laughs> Reverend John Haley. Good morning. Is, um, man, this guy is the boots on the ground here in Atlanta. <laughs> you know, I met uh, Reverend Haley uh, walking to the library. Yeah, yeah, him and his wife Sharon. Hey, hey, Miss Sharon, how you doing? She's she's sitting there smiling, <laughs> shaking her head. <laughs> Army, anyway. <laughs> so, but but he was he was doing his thing out there. He was he was ministering to people and handing out food. And man, people, you know, people were, um, you know, that pride will, will will pop up and they'll be like, no, you know, it's okay. You know, mm-hmm. then they, then they'll double back and say, yeah, you know, I could use a sandwich. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so welcome. Yeah, well, welcome. Thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. So so tell me how you got started in in um in your street ministry. Well, um, it started a couple years ago. Um, I'm I'm a retired chef, and um, every year we used to have food drives and. You know, after the restaurant, we we take foods down to the World Trade Center in New York. And um, when I moved to Atlanta, I saw there was a need, and um, I didn't really have any resources. So I just started beating the streets, finding resources, and I partnered up with uh, Fountain of Hope over there on Hollywood, and they feed the community daily. Wow. And partner with them, um, they enabled me to, to take food to the streets because a lot of people— can't make it there, you know, sick and shut in. Right. And um, it just showed the opportunity. God God was glorious. It showed me the opportunity to really take the food to the streets. And what it did for me, I mean, besides giving food to people, it, it blessed me because it got me one-on-one with people and people's problems and started concentrating on the problem of, you know, man doesn't live by bread alone. So it right. enabled me to, to be able to, Give the word with the food and meet a lot of lot of amazing people in Atlanta. Wow. That really a lot of people just overlook, you know, especially in the Grove Park area. Yeah. In the uh, west side. Um, these are up and coming neighborhoods. You know, you have neighborhoods where thirty to twenty to thirty percent abandoned. Right. And um it doesn't give a lot of hope. But when you look at the scape of the city and you see all the tremendous building going on. And then right in the backyard, there's this big need, just like, you know, commend you and uh, your people for for having a coat drive, the hat drive, because 
It'd be a lot of people think it doesn't get cold in Atlanta. Oh, absolutely. When it gets cold, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. You know? It is cold. And so so I want to commend you for making yourself of self available um to, to be a distribution center for, for our coats. Yeah. So so not only is is Reverend Haley gonna continue what he's doing out there, his his own personal meals on wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's gonna be able to give a coat yeah. or a jacket or a hat or uh, some I mean, gloves. Gloves or something. You know, kids. as he hands out food, you know, yeah. And his his helpful support system. Miss Haley here, Sharon. She's she's oh, yeah. she's she's a blessing. She's actually the first contact that I made. I was walking down the street. I must have been looking toe up again, man, because she was like, "Excuse me, sir. You need <laughs> do you need something to eat?" I was like, uh, "No, ma'am." And but the Holy Spirit said, "Go back. Yeah. That's a partner right there." Well, you know, John twenty one sixteen and seventeen both when uh, Christ asked Peter, "If you love me, then feed my sheep." You right. know, yeah, and um. There's a lot of, lot of things in the scripture, but that one hit me, you know what I mean, to being a chef and um, always feeding people, you know, for money per se, but uh, it was a chance to bring bring this thing to the street and really touch, you know, some of the needs of the people. Right. Wow. Well, well so so what else are you doing in the community? Um, also, um, this Saturday going on... Um, from nine o'clock is um, they have a once a month church at the um, Fountain of Hope. Okay, it's a a, a food ministry where the, their mission is to feed Atlanta. Um, they're giving two hundred and fifty boxes of food to people. They have a ministry where you come in the morning and, and they feed you. They serve the, the community lunch. They have a worship time, and you get to go home with a box of food, maybe sixty seventy dollars worth of food. And um, they're they're doing tremendous work in the city. Um, That's uh, Pastor Martin and Pastor Drew over at Fountain of Hope, along with um, the Shalom City Church with um, Pastor Danny. Okay. These are people that are in the neighborhood. They're working every day with the children, the community, to uplift the community. Because, you know, if the community goes down, next is the city. Right. So, you know, this is where we start at the grassroots. And sometimes you have to just stop. And turn around and look, not matter where you're going, but look who you just left behind. Right, right. And, um, you know, not just lead them, but walk with them and show them where they could go. All right. And um, and that's what we do, man. And we just try to do the Lord's work, man. And, you know, a lot of us were on the other side. And when when the yeah, Lord calls absolutely. you, man, there's nothing you can do, brother. <laughs> then nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> well, well, tell us how, tell the listening audience how um, we can get a hold of you. Well, um, I'm at the um, Hands of Praise. Uh, my number is 404-749-0953. And you could also call 404-963-6409. That's at Fountain of Hope. And it's a community outreach. And they have a lot, tons of information for people for, for also clothing, food, and um even I think job opportunities. Oh wow! They can point you in the right direction. Okay, and, and wow. So, so if you have people out there that are either sick and shut in, or or uh, maybe they just need a hand up, mm-hmm. you got the information. Give that to us one more time, Reverend Haley. It's a uh, Fountain of Hope, and it's eight twenty nine Hollywood Road, four zero four nine six three six four zero nine. All right. And we also partner with our uh, Next Generation Youth Center. And that's a nonprofit mentoring program that is run by um, Bishop Larry. Okay. And um, he's doing tremendous work in the community, pulling a lot of these local churches together and getting them to, to really pay attention to the youth. And I also want to shout out um, my if it's all right, Scott Free. That's okay. <laughs> City Takers. You know, it's, it's Atlanta's hip hop church. A lot of people don't know what's up with that, but um, look up citytakers.com along with Track Stars. Okay, and you'll find a new movement going on in the city, man, and um, it's awesome. All we right, give thanks and praise, man. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Don't you go away, Reverend Haley, man, because we we need to, we have a meeting at eleven thirty. You and me and Miss Kalisa Bass, <laughs> okay, over at Paradise Baptist Church. We yeah. get ready to kick this thing. Well, off. you know that's where we have our once a month church at Paradise for really? Shalom City. Yes. So they already know you. Oh yes, sir. And, um, <laughs> we we wow. just did a uh, Small thing. World. <laughs> I also play guitar in the praise, man. So. We played there uh, Sunday night. We're going to get a jam, man. <laughs> yeah. We're going to hear you hit a lick. 
Well, well, you know. guitar with me. Yeah, you know. Know. All right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. All right. Uh, Kalisa Bear. Yes. Good How morning, my darling. How are you? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I'm doing great. Oh, my God. Girl, the traffic. <laughs> I know. It's almost like you got to leave three hours I ahead know. of time. Oh, my God. So many things happened this morning. However, uh -oh. I was listening to the show. Were you? Yes. Uh -uh. You sound good on the radio. Oh, thank you. You do. <laughs> you sound good. I know. And New I want to commend you for the job you're doing well, in yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Um, I've been doing it for about eight or nine months. Okay. Um, two years totally just going out into the community. Uh -huh. But um, I'll tell you, you know, like eight, nine years ago, the shoe was on the other foot because it was people doing it to me, bringing yes, me yes. food, you know. <laughs> right. And I just saw it open and I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. And, you know, you got to give something back. You there know? you go. <laughs> the reason why I love this and I don't share this with too many people, I'm going to share it today. Last Christmas Eve uh -huh. and Christmas Day, me and my three children were homeless. Yeah. Wow. And sleeping in my car on wow. Christmas Day. And I was able to find a church wow. where I can Thanks. get something to eat, you know, for mm -hmm. Christmas Day. And today my life has done a 360. Oh, man. Total God, 360. God is wonderful, man. God yes. Is. There's a and, lot of... Excuse me, I'm sorry. No, that's okay, that's okay. I just want to say that the work that you're doing and what you're doing for people, you don't have any idea how important that is for wow. people. I was just driving down Northside, and I saw three ladies with, uh, I yeah. think they each had two, two children. Two of them had two, and wow. one had a baby in a stroller. Wow. And they sleeping out there on Northside. Yeah. And wow. I thought, oh, my God. See, this is the reason why God sends people like you to wow. do what you do. Well, you know, I and so it's it's very important, and and it's very needed. The coats, the toys, the yeah. the anything you do to help. The hat, you know, mm -hmm. some w there was one lady who had she had a cover, but it wasn't blanket. I mm -hmm. know she's cold out there. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. and and well, and, and to have to something to them. eat. <laughs> yes, right down there on Northside. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. where all that construction is going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. You got mm -hmm. the G Georgia Tech. Um, a high rise there where yep. it's nouveau riche, you know, yeah. and then a block over. A block wow. over. You got some. people sleeping in the cold, yes. wet grass. You know, I shared with my wife last night in New York. I, I was homeless for almost four years. Mm -hmm. And I shared with her, you know, one time we were walking through Brooklyn and it, it was freezing, you know. Yeah, yeah. And all I could do was jump in the back of seat of somebody's unlocked car mm. and sleep. And, but wow. I prayed that night. And um, God just showed me a different way, a mm -hmm, different mm -hmm. life. And, um, you know, I know a lot of times it's not a popular topic, but, no, you know, right. Christ is real. Right. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's interesting it's that you, the, the, the many people that we know yeah. and our so-called friends might know that you're homeless and that mm -hmm. you, you, you just ran into a bump in the road. Yeah. You know, and they're like, you know what, you're, you're homeless because... You, you want to be homeless, yeah. and that's not the case. No. You know, things happen, situations come up, and that's how I feel about, you know, people that are out there, and it's, it's sad to say, yes. but, but but it's also a good thing, you know, because you don't hear this stuff on the news, but you do hear it on Cleese in the Morning Show. Oh, uh, yeah, well, you know, yeah. we, we give thanks for your show mm -hmm. for shining the light to these matters because um, a lot of times you would just go about your regular day mm -hmm. and not even pay attention. That's right. So we give thanks that, that we can shine a light and we can help. I just say for this year, just every person, just go out and help one person. Mm -hmm. That's you know, right. Whatever you can do. I had a friend uh, on my, actually he was on my show, Eric Lipsy. Um, shout out to you too. He, the, he was standing in line and I think uh, two police officers paid for his order at mm -hmm. a restaurant. So then he, in turn, we well, he, he paid for somebody else's stuff too. Yeah. So you yeah. just you know. I'll definitely pay it forward. Mm -hmm. you know? That's right. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. And especially in the season, man. I mean, it's it's so so good to go out. You got work. You got jobs. You got family. Mm -hmm. But just take a minute and think about the people that are, are less unfortunate than us. Right. And sometimes we're a paycheck away. <laughs> absolutely. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much for being on the show, Reverend Haley. No Stick around. Don't you go away. Come join the Allen Temple AME family for their rendition of Handel's Messiah. Uh, Allen Temple AME Church is located at 1625 Joseph E. Boone Boulevard, Northwest Atlanta, 30314. The show will start 
promptly okay. at 6 on Sunday the 11th. Okay. Be there early as space is limited. And what's that address again? That address is 1625 Joseph E. Boone Boulevard, Northwest Atlanta, 30314. For more information, give us a call at 404-794-3316. Allen Temple AME Church, where the Reverend... Dr. Thomas L. Best Sr. is okay. the pastor. Hey, Reverend Best, we love you. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so it's time for us to take a break. That's what we're going to do. And when we come back, we have a guest via telephone. Yes, we do. And we are so honored to have it. Don't you touch that dial. We'll be right back. Uh, that, gift looks good on you. that grace is your gift. Yeah. That gift looks good on you. It's a divine enablement. Work your grace, the grace will work for you. Company, teach the lesson. The systems of the world, systems. we try to take your confidence. Yes, they will. For the systems were designed, designed to make you doubt what heaven said. Don't you doubt. The systems of the world, the systems. we try to take your confidence. Yes, they will. For the systems were designed, designed to make you sit down on your feet. Don't you let But the gift God gave to you. This gift. Looking good. I say your gift. It looks good. Yeah. The gift it looks good on you. Work your grace. It looks good on you. My gift works for me. The gift, it looks good. Yeah. And you wear it well. And you're wearing your gift well. God has, God has you. grace for you. And you wear it well. All right, you now. You wear it. Works for you. It looks good. Just come on, it just be you. The gift that looks good on you. Uh huh. It looks good on you. Can't be a better you than you. And then you wear. And you wear it well. God has graced you. God has graced you. Come on, let's take it up. Soprano wear. Your grace in that area. Work your grace. Wow. The gift. Donald Lawrence. And Jesus is the reason for the season. That's the gift that mm-hmm. we enjoy. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Even though you you know you, you fought the traffic and everything, but you just did you did well, girl. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. And they played my song. They did? Yeah. Which one? It says I'm happy. I know. Clap along will get you. That, feel. that was yeah. Skywalker, Sky. the engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Sky knows you. He uh, knows okay, you. thank you, Sky. <laughs> so 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 in light of what we just talked about with, with Reverend Haynes. We are going to kick this Baby. coat drive off, mm-hmm. hopefully, Monday. Yes. And so um, we've got a lot of partners. Mm-hmm. We've got Allen Temple AME Church, right. where the pastor is uh, Reverend Bess. Okay. Hey, Pastor Bess. Thank you, Pastor Bess. You, thank you, Pastor. Um, now, now that's still in the works, but we're going to work that thing out. That's right. And then that's we've right. got Miss Allison at Paradise Baptist Church. Okay, okay. And she is going to facilitate us in some way. We're going to work that out, too. That's right. And so um, Brenda Collins, friends of the Fulton County Library System, 
uh, in particular, Dogwood Branch. Okay. And right. I told the manager there that I wouldn't mention his name, so I'm not going to mention his name, Vincent. I'm just saying. Oh, you're out. <laughs> oh, you know. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> say it again. What's that right? Say it, say it, love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, At the library. At the library. Right. Dogwood, you know. Uh-huh. And so, um, and then, of course, the um, Atlanta Fulton County Library system and Yours truly, Jay Parker, Kalisa Bass, That's right. and Reverend John Haley and his beautiful, lovely wife, Sharon. Yes, yes. yes. I, said that, I said that. I said that like in there, Sharon. But it's Sharon. 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 <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we are so excited, but we're also excited about our next guest. Yes, we and are. And she has been so patient. I know. Uh, Diane E. Woods. Diane, are you on the line? Yes, Diane. Well, good right? morning, Diane. Miss Woods, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for being so patient. We just got so many things going on here that we're trying to give back. And so we're going we're gonna to give you to the, to our listening audience that's right, right now. That's right. So I want to let right. them know. Well, thank you so much for having me on this morning. I'm excited about uh, being on, and I'm excited about what you're doing there in Atlanta as well. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. And we read so much about you and what you're doing. And so we want to toot your horn today. Toot, toot. Right. And let the Atlanta <laughs> area and everyone around the country that's listening. Yeah, absolutely. That's so, right. So so we're going to prep our audience. If you want to chime in on this show, mm-hmm. you can give us a call live at 404-355-8699. If you're calling from around the country like K to Texas. Hey, K to Texas. Hey, K to Texas. 866-923-2860. So we're going to go ahead and tell you a little bit or a lot of bit about our guest, right. Diane E. Woods. Diane E. Woods, born and raised in the suburbs of Detroit, Michigan. Diane is a mother of two adult mm. children and three mm. grandchildren. Throughout her career, she's worked as teacher, trainer, administrative assistant, and even uh, event coordinator. In addition, she has served full-time as staff minister and director of outreach missions, and dean of the Layman's and Bible Training Center at our local church in Jacksonville, Florida, for over 16 years. Founder of DEW Ministry, or Do Ministries Incorporated, a 501c3, the hallmark of her vision is to help individuals live in purpose on purpose. She has been licensed and ordained since 1996. Mm. In addition, she has facilitated, along with her volunteer team, an after-school program for at-risk Teens, girls, ages 12 through 15. She conducts P6, pinpointing your potential, passion, and purpose from paper to productivity, purpose workshops for adults, young adults, and teens. She is an author with books published on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and other online sites, as well as facilitates self-publishing roundtables to assist others with publishing their books. She holds an anger Mm. management training certificate, level one certificate Mm. of completion, S-A-Y, say yes, intensive training for youth development directors, work net for hard to place job candidate trainers, training certificate, Florida Department of Corrections, basic citizen volunteer training certificate, life at the crossroads, abstinence, youth development teachers training certificate, Take Stock in Children Mentoring Certificate and Mental Health First Aid for Teens Certificate from the Jacksonville Children's Commission. Let me take, let me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me take a puff on my, right. on my oxygen tank. Oh, okay. <laughs> Her volunteer experiences include Young Life After School Senior High Program at Andrew Jackson High School, Jacksonville, Florida. Mentor with Take Stock in Children, Andrew Jackson High School, Student uh, Classroom Assistant, and Field Trip Volunteer, SAC or School Advisory Committee member, Fort Caroline Elementary School, and co-chair Andrew Jackson High School Advisory Board. She participated uh, the One Spark Arts Festival 2013 in Jacksonville, Florida as a street photographer and festival, festival excuse me, participant and presenter in 2014. Her ministry and training travels her i'm sorry travels take her around the u.s detroit michigan fayetteville <coughs> uh, arkansas aliquippa is that right pennsylvania did i say that right Bruns- uh, yeah okay brunswick georgia miami orlando and tallahassee florida and on mission trips internationally to haiti honduras dominican republic 
Peru, and Bulgaria with wow. personal travels to Israel and Paris. Oh, wow. Wow, he gets around. Wow, I'm tired. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go home after I read this last paragraph. <laughs> okay. her, her passion to see people identify their potential passion and purpose fuels her publications, roundtables, speaking engagements, seminars, workshops, and conferences. She expresses her love for nature artistically through photography, poetry, post and note cards. The theme of her ministry is living in purpose on purpose. Mm. And he would. Congratulations. Wow, my my. Okay, I'll see y'all later. I'm going to get, 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 go ahead and get, <laughs> get on to the house. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. You're busy. How did you find the time? Well, it's just when God anoints you to do something and you're working in that purpose and that passion, mm -hmm. that's the exciting part about you know, how God leads and guides. I was listening to your um, previous guest and, mm -hmm. and the things he's doing. He's walking in his purpose. That's right. Purpose, that's right. Which impacts everybody else that's around him in the community. So that's why I do what I do. And, and my actual passion is to see you fulfill your passion. Okay. So okay. that's that's why I love working with all age groups, especially the teens, mm -hmm. uh, college students. But yeah, so you gotta catch them early. Really faithful. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, uh, t tell the listening audience how you actually got started. What's your story? Well, I was originally I live in uh, Florida now, but I originally was from Detroit. Okay. And I went to Bible school there. I uh, was and moved here to Jacksonville to help start a ministry. Uh, we started with 11 people, and okay. then when God called me to leave that ministry, it was about 4,000. So we mm. went from 11 to 4,000, and then God said, okay, so you're done here, and to step out and to do the things that he's ordained for me to do in the community now. So okay. my passion is more in the community and reaching people where they are mm -hmm. uh, in a way that they understand because really it is all about you as right. the individual and not what we bring to you but what you have in you that we can use to to better your life okay. as well as those in the community and so it's it's been a challenge it hasn't been that easy right right when we obey god you know that's he he provides he'll he lead direct open up here. doors make a way all of that now now tell me how long have you been doing this I've been doing this for 20 years now. Mm. I've been in okay. uh, ministry for 20 years, licensed and ordained for uh, 19 of the 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I've actually been in ministry uh, full time okay. uh, in tw for 20 years and, and, and recently started DEW Ministries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I want to know how, in light of hearing what we're doing here, and you, when you see someone that needs help, how do you... How do you feel? I want to know how you feel. Because you've been doing it for a long time. Because right now I how feel, do I... yeah, I feel when I see that, I feel like, gosh, you know, that I feel bad. I, I'm hurt, you know, to the point where I want to do something about it. But, you know, you don't want it to bring you down. How, how do you deal with that? Well, how I deal with it, the first thing I do when I see people mm -hmm. is that I always see potential. Okay. I always see that they... That's someone's mother, father, that's brother, right. sister, child, mother, you know, that's mm -hmm. somebody's family member. And that person, God created them for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And when I look at people, I look at them in light of what God sees and what God created them to be and to do. So when I talk to them, they already know they're in that situation. Okay. So what can we talk about that would number one, encourage you, mm -hmm. and number two, get you moving in a direction that will uh, help your life mm -hmm. or in better your situation. And that's what's good about being in ministry because you have those resources right. that you can guide someone to. Mm -hmm. But when you start talking, you know, what are the things you enjoy? And then they just start sharing with you then you can kind of say, well, have you ever thought about this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so you, you, what purpose and potential passion and purpose is all about is identifying those things that people enjoy doing. Yes. And then what did you want to be when you were a child? Mm -hmm. if you wanted to be a teacher or a fireman. You know, it really is not too late. That's right. You just have to do it in a different 
Mm -hmm. way or at a different level depending on your age and that's what i like to tell people if i hear uh what you what you enjoy what you like to do i can help you change that and make it make it work for you even if you know see when i see people Mm -hmm. i always see potential and i always pray for them you know even in a situation where you may think that person has a mental illness Mm -hmm. maybe not have you talked to them that's right that's right are you assuming uh just because they look a certain way and and that's the biggest challenge being in outreach and missions you go to different countries and people automatically judge without even knowing what the situation is that's right you're right that's right like you were saying about your situation people would have judged you oh well she just you know Mm -hmm. she just did this and she wanted to be that and that's true that's right do make those assumptions and i'm way from michigan i'm from i'm from michigan um ann arbor michigan okay and so i moved down here supposedly to be with family and it you know situations happened it didn't work out that way and i was still you know working doing my show everything and and i was homeless and but i never told anyone but at the same time i knew what my what my mission was what my purpose was you know for moving down here and so like i said now i'm my life has done a 360 and and my heart and passion is still to help you know, and so God just stills, you know, puts me in contact with people who want to do the same thing. And, and I actually um, I'm grateful for the role that he's taken me in, in, in that he's shown me that he's he'll take care of me. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. even what you're doing now, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes people think they're separate and apart from their uh, Christianity. It's, uh, it really is evangelism uh, in, in many different forms. Mm-hmm. It can be. Uh, what you're doing and how you're doing it. And the one thing that uh, is so impressive about what you're doing is that you reach so many different people. You can guide the homeless or at least hear what's going on. They're giving away coats. And if I heard that, I can see somebody homeless and say, hey, look, they're giving away coats and dust and so on and so on. So so it's not just about it. It it really is a broader Mm -hmm. A community, yes. you know, what you're doing there on the radio, what people can hear, what the pastors are doing, and it is life-changing. And, and God wants us not to continue to hold our gifts and talents hostage, That's right. but to go ahead and to uh, just give it away. Just mm-hmm. give it away. I don't even have to uh, think about, oh, gosh, I, I, I need to do this or I need to get that to do this. No, I just need to do what God says do. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's when right. I obey the voice of the Lord, people's lives are changed. And that's what we as the body of Christ and as Christians are supposed to be doing. That's right. That's so, right. You know, God is, is he'll take care of all of the other things. But when we obey God and when you move from Michigan to Atlanta, you probably caught it from everybody. When I came from Detroit to mm-hmm. Jacksonville, people were like, well, what you going to do? That's right. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm-hmm. And I came because God said come and I had $50. I wow. prayed before I, I came and God sent some man. I prayed before I came and I got the okay to come. So, yeah. You know, and people didn't understand it. And, you know, it, it, yeah. I even had someone say to me, uh, they can't believe that I brought my kids down here with no air in my car. Okay, well, we made it. <laughs> no, okay. you know. <laughs> and I'm like, what? We don't need it in Ann Arbor. Thank you. We don't. <laughs> you know, and, that, and that's something else. Yeah, you know, you get down here and it's a different story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All you got to do is tell, tell your friends mm-hmm. what God is doing in your life and, and watch them laugh at you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the most amazing thing. You know, um, I, I've had business dealings and I'm saying, well, you know, you know, I'm a Christian and I go by what the word of God says. And, and, um, you know, the word says for me not to do this particular thing, man, you crazy. They say, <laughs> you crazy, boy, you better go ahead and get this money, you know, <laughs> you know? And, and, but I tell you, you know, to, when you follow the precepts of God, you're always mm-hmm. going to win. That's it might right. not happen right now. Mm-hmm. Well. And, and it might and, take a minute. And when you're, and when you're in that purpose and you talk about and you tell people, and this is why I talk to people when we do uh, purpose workshops or we're doing something like that, just don't tell everybody. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. people will, uh, that will become a distraction to you moving forward because now 
you feel that sense of rejection That's and now right. all of a sudden everything is you feel as if everything is caving in and you already know what God said. And that's mm-hmm. that I negative energy. Because you could be on a roll. Energy. I'm sorry. You what could is, that's that, that negative right energy. On. And that you could be on a roll and something that someone said to you or put in your spirit can pop back up. Yeah. So you have to be careful who you talk to, who mm-hmm. you tell about your plans, yeah. your dreams, any of that. You know, yeah. sometimes you just have to keep them in that secret, sacred place. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, God says reveal. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> and you got to be careful. Like you said, was very important. You have to be careful who you tell. Also, because they'll put their tongue against you. Mm-hmm. You know, the Bible says yeah. that there's life and death in the power of the tongue. And they'll go right. They go, right. girl, you do your thing. And then they'll go right right behind your back and say, mm, she's tripping. You know, she ain't going she, she ain't to do nothing. Man. I know, right. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that is when you're cursing someone. Absolutely. Mm. You're actually cursing yeah. the vision or the thing that God has placed on their heart. Mm-hmm. You know, the, in James, it talks about, you know, blessings and you know, we speak blessings and cursing. How mm-hmm. can it come out? You know, mm-hmm. how does it come out of our mouths? But you know what? It does. When we talk about people, when we gossip, yeah. when mm-hmm. we talk negative about somebody, girl, she can't do that. And mm. they're in your face. All of a sudden, now you're wondering why things are being hindered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit in regards to even who you share it with. Because Absolutely. unfortunately, there's so much envy or resentment within the body sometimes. But see, that's that old man. That's yeah. not mm-hmm. new. But God can still handle that. But you have to be mindful of the choices that you make, uh, the, the people that you share with. That's and right. when we talk about potential, passion, and purpose, you know, potential is that thing that makes the impossible possible. Mm-hmm. So we all have that. Mm-hmm. And yep. when we tap into that potential, then the manifestation of our passion, we just mix it all together. And next thing you know, you're right where you you uh, you you open up and you say, wow, look at God. Look what mm-hmm. God has done. Mm-hmm. Right, we right. We have to give him the glory. We have to give mm-hmm. him the honor. And the praise, because if we don't humble ourselves before him, we can become very hardy when it comes. Oh, look what I did. Mm-hmm. So now it gets perverted and twisted. That's right. But when we continue to keep our eyes on Christ, we pray about the things that he's called us to do. We ask him to open doors for us, and then we walk through them. Yeah. Because he can open a door, and you can be so intimidated mm-hmm. that you may not walk through. mm based right. on your past experience. Right. So you need those individuals to encourage you, but you got to really watch out who that is. Who mm-hmm. that is. Yeah. And, you know, with that being said, I had posted uh, probably, it's probably 36 hours ago on, I'm a member of a private group um, by Steve Harvey, mm-hmm. Act Like mm-hmm. a Success. And so he had suggested to take, um, to write down 500 things that you wanted to do in the past, that you want to do in the present, or you want to do in the future. So I made out a little sheet and I posted it. So I posted it on my personal page and I have over a thousand Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. And so I got 11 likes on that post, right? Wow. And I shared the page. I got 11 on on my personal page. I put it on the page the same time Mm -hmm. that I'm a member of of people (laughs) I don't even know. And I have over 300 likes. Wow. And friends, I, don't be hating. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> don't, don't I be said ha- this. Be a friend. Be a real friend. Don't be fair I weather. I couldn't believe it. I said, but see, that goes to show you the type of, the people that you think you know, you don't really know. Yeah. You just, know. They look at you and say, psych. Yeah, right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're going to write 500 things. Yeah, okay. Okay. And I'm thinking to myself, wow. so the other people, they are like-minded people. You have mm-hmm. to be careful who you associate yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. And I just, that kind of is, you know, goes into what you're saying about being careful who you share with, who you tell, yeah. you know, because I just think that when you're on a mission and you're asking God to direct you, you're, you're supposed to do that anyway. He yeah. said, you know, seek him yeah. um, before you make a move yeah. and he'll direct your path. Yeah. And so it's very important to do that. And so, you know, with what you're doing, uh, I commend you for, and we're definitely going to take a break right now, but yep. we'll come back because I want to get some more information from you yeah. to share with our listening audience. Okay. Okay, she just... I have some book giveaways. I have some books to give away. Uh, oh, 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 no, don't We're going to have a giveaway. 945 giveaway. Right. <laughs> 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 In case you just tuned in, you're listening to the Kalisa in the Morning Show. It's time for us to take a break, so that's what we're going to do. Don't you touch that dial. We'll be right back. Right back.
Hey, we're back. We're back. Thank you for listening to the Kalisa in the Morning (laughs) Show. Yes, and we have our featured guest, Diane Woods, on the line, and it has been a beautiful conversation. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. I've just really enjoyed being a part of the morning show. You are so welcome. Uh, You are so welcome. So faithful, so faithful. And you know what? I just commend you for everything that you're doing. I really, really do. Absolutely. It's really heartwarming to to know that people can step outside of themselves and do what they're doing. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to open up the line. Mm -hmm. We're going to open up the line to win your book to the to the what we'll call it. Let's do the fifth caller. It's today. called so, Pinpointing Potential Passion and Purpose. Okay. Pay for the productivity. And I do have if they would like to text 
Okay. To 31996, the word P6. Um, wait, wait. I have let, 20 books to give away. Okay, I want to tell you. have how many books? 20. 20 books to give away. Okay, so we're going to give Facebook Live that text number again. Text, mm hmm. What's 31996. Mm hmm. And they can text just P6. Text P6. And it'll send them an instant message mm -hmm. and they'll know whether they want or not. And if they want a copy, it'll send them a link to put their address and I'll mail a book out to them. Okay, so Facebook Live. Um, text 31996 and text P6. 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 Just P6. Text that. You get a free yep. book from uh, Diane Woods. Absolutely. Our featured guest for today. So. There you so go. it's a motivational book. Mm -hmm. and it talks about pinpointing your potential. It talks about prospecting, pitfalls, predictable steps. Okay. Uh, picture this, what's in a name, and productivity and perseverance. When you're just looking to make that life change, you might have, you know, your job might have changed. You might just want to be rebranding yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it's a motivational book. It's very easy to mm -hmm. uh, follow. Uh, it is on Amazon.com as well. So, okay. but I just wanted to be a blessing to the listening audience today, and just send out some free copies and right. get people moving in the right direction. All right. Okay. So, listening not audience, that people are not moving in the right direction. Yeah, but it helps. Every it little just, bit helps. Need some help. Yes. Every little bit helps. Sometimes I don't want to assume that people are not where they uh, want to be in life. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we can always fine tune some things. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, we can find out some things about ourselves that we did not know or didn't, you know, we're not aware that we had the potential. Right. And so it, it does walk you through some steps and it's just a motivational to help you be encouraged. How do you, how do you pinpoint your potential? And that's the thing that we do. Uh, when we get together, when I talk to people, when I'm coaching someone, or okay. if I'm having a, a, a meeting or a seminar, I met a lady on the People Mover the uh, just the other day, yesterday mm -hmm. actually, and she just opened up to me and she said, "Well, I don't know what I want to do." Okay. And I said, "Well, you know what? We start talking briefly, and she said, my kids are grown, and, and you know, I, I did the right thing, but I don't know what I want to do.' So I just whipped out my card and I said, "Give me a call and." We'll have lunch. Oh, and wow. that's how you have to be sometimes. You just can't, like I said, hold your gifts hostage when you see people struggling mm -hmm. or, or maybe in some kind of hurt or, or pain. We don't know what people are actually going through, and we just assume we just that assume. maybe because they have that look or they're carrying a bag or mm -hmm. something like that. And, and we just got into this real short, quick conversation, and I told her, give me a call. Let's have lunch. And... Let's talk about it. And it's all about all right. doing you know, something, Diane. Yeah. It, it's about doing something. And I love that you gave that uh, e e example, actually, because, it, you know, so many of us are just saying, oh, I'll just pray for them. No, do yeah. something. Yeah, you got to do, do something. Yeah. Just so, like the uh, reverend pray, here. Pray and do. Uh, pray and yeah. do. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so make sure that you all get the book. That's Text right. P6 to 31996. That's right. And, and it'll just. A link will just pop up, and it'll let you know whether you win a copy or not. So okay. it'll be the first 20 people. And uh, I'm just excited to be able to touch and to reach people uh, where they are. You know, God has been so faithful to me. He has blessed me. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I came down here with $50. Wow. And that's mm -hmm. all. I had no job. Wow. And so Double whammy. God provided a job <laughs> when the rent was due. And Ooh, I was yes. so grateful. Right. <laughs> Because, you know, it just mm. let me know. And, and God doesn't give it to us all at once. I'm sure you yes, uh, I know that. kind of know that. Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. it, it's in steps, it's in stages, mm -hmm. it's in his faithfulness to us. But if he gave it to us all at once, we would probably uh, not be able to handle it. Or right. not appreciate mm -hmm. it as much either. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah, so he gives it to us in stages and in steps and and I'm just so, so humbled and so thankful to be on your show today. I don't take it for granted that, that you, you know, that, that I'm here and I'm being able to speak to the audience and, mm -hmm. and just be able to share a little bit about what God is doing. But everybody has a purpose. Everybody you look at, I don't care where they are in life, where you see them, mm -hmm. 
they have a purpose. And sometimes it gets distorted through people that we hang out with. Choices that we make may not be the right choices. And when I work with the young people and the teenagers, when I help them identify their purpose, mm-hmm. then we make choices. Okay, these are the choices that you need to make. Right. If you want to be an airline pilot, you know, you just can't be hanging out at the club. That's right. That's right. And it's Studying better that you have direct them. Exactly. <laughs> you know, okay. People we, will pull you away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Right. So um, we actually have to wrap up, but right quick, okay. give the listening audience your contact information in case they want to get in contact with you for coaching or speaking or to get your book or however. Okay, I have a phone number. It's area code 210-816-0767. Okay. That's area code 210-816-0767. Okay. Or they can follow me on my Facebook page at Diane E. Woods, D-I-A-N-N-E okay. E. Woods. All right. Okay. Well, and just follow us on Facebook and then watch out for some uh, activities and different events we're doing and just kind of follow us. But, yes, they can get the book and I'll put the book out there so that they can get the link as well for those who may have missed the contest. But, Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, I'll be sharing it. So I'll be sharing it so yeah. people will be watching Absolutely. it all day. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you so much for joining us right. on the Kalisa in the Morning Show. We love the time we had with you. Thank you so much. Oh, gosh. You guys be blessed. And I'm so, and I'll be praying for everything that you're doing there in Atlanta. And, you know, just know that God has, you know, supernatural things there for you guys mm-hmm. as well as far as your radio broadcast. And he's taking it to another level. So just be ready. Okay. So, I um, receive it. I receive it. Thank, thank <laughs> you so much. There is a purpose in the patience. Absolutely. Right. Well, we want to give honorable mention to our sponsors. Right. I Am Life T-shirts by TNT Creations, mm-hmm. where the feeling of, of life, life begins. begins. And Candace Ruffin with Greater Works Mission out of Katy, Katy Texas. Katy, Texas. Katy, Texas. <laughs> Beautiful Katy, Texas, and a step above That's where right. it's all about you. They've got washers, dryers, sofas, and chairs. Hey, <laughs> give them a call. <laughs> and so we want to we want to go ahead and, and remind the listener audience to be looking out for information on where they can drop their coats, hats, long johns, scarves, gloves, and toys, and toys. They have toys. children too. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So um, we are um, we're looking at. Um, Miss Allison at Paradise Baptist Church, we want to say thank you for for meeting with mm-hmm. us today to facilitate um, anything that you can do. Allen Temple AME, where the pastor is Pastor uh, Bess. Right. Hey, Pastor Bess, we love you. Brenda Collins with Friends of the Fulton County Library System, in particular Dogwood Branch. Right. And the Atlanta Fulton County Library System, and of course, in studio George with us, Shirley. John Haley. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Come join the Allen Temple AME family for their rendition of Handel's Messiah. You're not going to want to miss this. It is going to be an awesome, awesome show. Uh, It's going to be Sunday the 11th Mm -hmm. of December. That's this Sunday at 6 o'clock. Get there early because space is limited. Get there, get there, get there. That's right. Allen Temple AME Church is located at 1625 Joseph E. Boone Boulevard, Northwest Atlanta, 30314. For more information, give them a call at 404-794-3316. They've got an awesome ministry. Pastor Best takes that word, and he throws it. It mm. hits the back of the church. <laughs> and oh, then wow. it hits you in the back <laughs> of your head. That one. Pow! Boomerang. <laughs> so Sunday school starts at 9.30 a.m. Worship is... It's 1030. This this is Sunday. Okay. Y'all make y'all way to Allen. That's right. Temple AME Church where the pastor is Reverend Dr. Thomas L. Best Sr. In case you just tune in, you listen to the non uh, Oh, I'm sorry. To the Kalisa in the Morning Show. Sorry about that. The Kalisa in the Morning Show. But you're too late because we are finished. We're done. And so Amen. thank you for calling for those who called. <laughs> and and um, that was Miss Peggy. I got you. So hang tight. Um, join us every Thursday, Thursday morning, morning. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nine o'clock. <laughs> to 10 a.m. <laughs> right here on Love Age 60, right. Atlanta's inspirational talk radio, the Kalisa in the Morning Show. Make we it a great love day. love you. All right. okay. Blessing. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to Kalisa in the Morning. Be sure to tune in every Thursday, 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on WAEC.